I was trained as an economist, so I got my PhD in economics and didn't really work on fisheries until I moved to UC Santa Barbara for my, my first academic job. And as a professor there, I started to get more and more involved in different research projects. And one of the strengths of that campus is you know, marine and resource issues. And I was trained in resource economics and sort of started to apply some of those tools and approaches to issues in marine conservation, issues at the intersection of the economy and the environment, but in the marine realm. One of the great things about this conference is it brings together people from the whole spectrum, you know, from on the ground practitioners who are really in the weeds of, you know, how do we get stakeholders to be involved in an on the ground process or on the water process, uh, all the way to, you know, high level in, uh, thinkers from academia and elsewhere that are thinking of crazy new ideas that may or may not ever get implemented but could really have an impact on you know, the way people think about ocean governance or the way people think about you know, spatial planning or, or innovations in management of marine resources. So I think the, the take home for me is that both sides, but, you know, both ends of that spectrum can learn something from each other. So as someone more on this, the second end of that spectrum, sort of the th thinking big but maybe not as practically, um, I've al already learned quite a bit from listening to practitioners because they say, well, sure, this theory is great, but what about this implementation challenge? And that causes me to say, well, maybe I should be asking the question differently in my research. And I hope that it, it goes the other way as well. You know, some new idea that's never been tried might be worth thinking about even at the practical level. What I'm always looking for as a researcher is uh, an issue usually in, in fisheries or in oceans that uh, that has broader appeal to economists. So some principle that I can uncover in, in fisheries or marine issues, or maybe governance in, in the marine realm, that could apply more broadly to other economic uh, industries or other economic ideas. At this conference, one of the big themes is ecosystem services. So what are the services we get from the ocean? So it's not enough anymore to just say, well, gee, we gotta conserve the ocean because we care about it you have to justify why you want to conserve it. And the reason is that there's all, there are always conflicts and trade-offs. And so the question is, how can we illuminate those trade-offs? And how can we identify sort of false trade-offs between the economy and the environment? Often they'll go hand in hand, but we have to look closely to find those nuggets where you, know, you can get an environmental improvement at no cost to the environment, or at no cost to the economy, excuse me, uh, simply by changing management in some way.